If there's one area where pressure cookers shine, it's pot roast. Okay, actually, it's pot roast, it's beans, it's rice, it's cheesecake. All right, you get the point. I love my pressure cookers. But today, I am going to show you how to make the most tender, fall apart pot roast in your pressure cooker. And if you like that kind of thing, pressure cooker recipes or quick and easy meals, then go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I do come out with new videos every week and that way you will be notified every single time. Welcome back to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather. I am the author of the spicyapron.com blog. I also have two Instant Pot authorized cookbooks. And today I'm going to show you how to make pressure cooker pot roast. It is one of the easiest things and it's one of the most delicious. Here on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, I am here to show you the easiest way to get the best results in your kitchen. And yes, pressure cooker pot roast is most definitely one of those things. So let's start. First, your pressure cooker. I want you to make sure to turn it on saute and let it get hot. The display should read hot as soon as it is hot because we are going to sear the beef before we put it in. All right, I have here a three to four pound chuck roast. Now the full recipe to this is at thespicyapron.com. I will put a link to that below. It has all the information you need. But right now, what you need is a three to four pound chuck roast. And all we're gonna do is season it very liberally with salt and pepper. Do not be shy on that salt, unless you have health reasons to do so. Okay, the meat is seasoned. And now that your pressure cooker says hot, if you can read that, mine says hot. By the way, this is the Mealthy Multipot. I really do love it. I love all of my pressure cookers, but this particular one I like because the buttons are easy to read for my old lady eyes. All right, let's sear the meat. I just put a little bit of olive oil in that pot and you're probably gonna wanna do this in two batches because you really only wanna sear it in one layer at a time. Now that is one of my favorite things about pressure cookers is this ability to do it all in one pot. You sear it, it's nice and hot. You add the other stuff, you pressure cook it, and you're done. Now you want to sear the meat on all sides to give it a nice brown crust. Having said that, I have had a lot of people ask me, do you have to sear the meat first? And the answer is no, you don't. Uh, but it really does add a nice depth of flavor. But honestly, if you're in a big hurry, then you can skip that step. It's still going to be wonderful. So let's get all of this meat seared up and we'll go to the next step. And speaking of taking the time to sear it all, I did hear a little trick from one of my very favorite food blogs uh, and also YouTube cooking shows from My Forking Life, Tanya. I love her. She has amazing recipes. Uh, I believe I have a link I don't know if it's on that side or that side, to her YouTube cooking show, so check it out. But her tip was sometimes when she's pressed her time, she will only sear half of the meat, and that way she still gets some of that flavor, but it cuts the searing time in half. I thought that was a great tip. All right, the meat has been seared, but keep that pot on saute, because now we're gonna do the onions and garlic before we pressure cook it. I add a little bit more olive oil, and this is just one onion sliced up. As I always do, I love to individually salt and pepper my onions. It just gets it all nice and flavorful, no matter what you're biting into. Okay, our onions are sauteing away, and while they do that, I wanna know what do you serve with your pot roast? Mashed potatoes? I'm a big mashed potatoes kind of gal. I love mashed potatoes, but what do you guys serve with it? And do you like it with gravy or without? And by the way, I am gonna show you how to make a gravy out of the drippings of this pot roast. So stay tuned because you do not wanna miss it. It's fabulous. Now, when your onions are just starting to get soft, now you're just gonna add a little bit of garlic. Again, the full recipe is at thespicyapron.com. And you really only wanna sear the garlic about one minute. You don't want it to burn. So stir it around, sear it up. Now, this next step, this is important. Do not skip it. If you will look, where's my spatula? Hold on. 
If you will look at the bottom of this pan, you can see the nice brown bits. That's where all that flavor comes from. But you need to get that off of the bottom of your pot before you actually pressure cook it. Otherwise, it will burn uh, and your pot will not come to pressure. So do not skip this step. And of course, I'm sure you all know by now, you do need at least one cup of liquid. Right now I'm using water. I often use beef broth or even chicken broth, whatever I have around. So scrape the bottom of that pan. And if you look, you can see now I've got those brown bits all scraped off. And once it is clean, then just add the rest of that one cup of liquid. All right, now we're gonna set the beef on top. Now, the reason that pot roast is so wonderful in the Instant Pot is because while it used to take all day to get nice tender pot roast, now all you do is you put it in the pot, push cook for 90 minutes, and that's it. All right, let me pressure cook it. I'm going to cook it. God, I'm being kind of noisy with all these utensils today. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna pressure cook it on high pressure for 90 minutes and then do not forget this either. Please let it naturally release for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. That way the juices stay in the meat and it will stay nice and juicy and tender and will not come out dry. A lot of people ask that question. Yes, you should naturally release meats, particularly big, heavy, thick meats like pot roast. Well, 90 minutes is up and I let it naturally release for 20 minutes. So there was basically no pressure left, but release the pressure if there is any left. Let's check out our pot roast. Okay, you guys, it's perfect. The smell, the look, the texture. Now what we're going to do is take out the beef and thicken up the sauce for a gravy and oh, dinner is served. Now be careful when you're taking these chunks of meat out because they're so tender they might fall apart. And I like to leave them in nice big chunks when I serve it. Okay, so here's the trick to making a very, very simple gravy that you could just pour on top of your pot roast. It does not actually need it because it's delicious as it is. But if you want it, turn your leave the juice in the pot that came from cooking the pot roast and then turn your pot on saute. Now, once you have it on saute, it's going to come to a simmer, which is exactly what you want because we're gonna add a slurry. Now, Slurries are just made to thicken up liquid. So it's an equal mixture of cornstarch and water, or you could use flour, you could also use potato flakes, but stir it all together. And then when your liquid is simmering, go ahead and pour it in. Make sure you get all of that good thickener out of there and whisk it in and then let it come back to a simmer. Now it is simmering away. I wanna tell you, I do have a free download for you. It is the top 10 pressure cooker recipes from the spicyapron.com. So there's a link to that below. It's free. Go ahead and click it and get your recipes delivered directly to your inbox. Okay, that gravy is just starting to thicken up. I'm gonna pour a little right on top of our pot roast. Look at that. It's got the onions, it's got the garlic, it's got obviously the juice drippings from the pot roast itself. And there you have it. Woo, it's hot. All right. Time for a bite, but I already know we have this all the time. It's delicious. So thank you for watching the Spice Apron Cooking Show. And if this video helped you learn a little bit more about using your pressure cooker, then please give it a thumbs up and happy cooking. Mm, so good.